today we are making Indian masala chai. Now as a beginner slash amateur cook, a lot of these ingredients were new to me and it did take me quite some time at the store to find them. So this was whole cloves. This is what the recipe calls for, so that was a win. This one, however, is cardamom. The recipe actually calls for cardamom pods. And my grocery store, which is just a standard chain public grocery store, did not have them. This is the only type of cardamom they had. All these spices apparently come in different forms, whole, ground, as well as pods. So I went with what my store had. Uh, black tea, you're supposed to use actual um, tea leaves, which my store didn't have, so I went for tea bags. We're gonna do some conversions today. You need some milk. The recipe calls regular milk. I always get my chai with soy milk, so I went for soy milk. Typically in all my recipes, I'll use almond milk, but for this one specifically, I've tried almond milk in Starbucks chai before, and I find it very watery. So today I'm gonna go with soy milk. And then we've got pepper, cinnamon, ground ginger. That was actually a new one for me. More common, ginger's obviously a common ingredient, but ground ginger was something new to me. We need water, and then the last ingredient is sugar. I don't normally use sugar, real sugar in recipes. I'm even less interested in using a fake sugar substitute. I will use a real sugar substitute like honey or maple syrup. Um, this one, I'm gonna see. So I think I'm gonna add the sugar this first time, see how it goes. But if you make the recipe and you don't use sugar or use a different sugar option, let us know how it goes. The first thing on this recipe is to go ahead and combine our first three spices, our cloves, our cardamom, and our ground cinnamon. The recipe calls for a mortar, which this amateur cook does not have, so we are actually using a muddler, as well as the top of our martini shaker. So as you can see, I've already got one clove in here, so you want four cloves, but I wanted to make sure that this would actually work, this muddler version. So I put one in so far, so I'm gonna add my three, I'm gonna muddle that together. Then we're gonna add our cardamom. The recipe calls for two pods. So the conversion there, we're gonna use one third teaspoon of cardamom. And then you wanna use one cinnamon stick. And we have ground cinnamon. So the conversion we're gonna use is one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Mallard he says we want to take our spices and add it to a saucepan. We then want to add in three cups of water. My measuring cup isn't quite whole enough, so I'm adding just an extra cup here to make it a total of three cups of water. And then you want to use one quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. And lastly, we need one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. However, our black pepper is a grinder. So we're gonna kind of just eyeball the pepper. Really, my guess is it's how spicy you want it to be anyway, so we're just gonna guesstimate this one. So that's probably good. We want to bring this to a boil. So I'm gonna turn my heat all the way up to high here. Bring it to a boil. I'll give it a quick stir and let it boil. As we can see, our mixture is now boiling. So we're good to go. to add in our half cup of milk and our two tablespoons of sugar. I did already add our sugar to this milk. I decided to go ahead and use the two tablespoons of sugar because I'm used to some good old Starbucks chai and that is very sugary. So I don't want it to taste completely different. So I thought this first time, let's go ahead and use the sugar. We've added our milk and sugar and we want to bring it back to a boil. 
Looks like we are now boiling, so the last thing we want to do is add our black tea. It is a good side note to notice that we did use signature black decaf tea. So with the decaf, it works better than a caffeinated tea, according to the directions. And you want to use two tablespoons, which we don't have. But we do have a conversion, which our friend has so kindly that shared the recipe with us, told us to use eight tea bags. So you want to add your eight tea bags. And then we're going to let it seep for three minutes, it says. Looks like we've got all eight in here. So you want to cover it and remove from the heat. Let it seep for three minutes. We have let this seep and we are now ready to spoon it into our cups and have some delicious chai. And there we have it, our finished cups of Indian masala chai. Always remember, we are better together. This recipe is Indian masala chai, located on food.com. Here's a full recipe for you. We hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe below and comment if you make it. Thanks so much.